What's up, Colts fans? Happy New Year. It is 2024. Let's go. Happy New Year, everybody. I hope you had a great 2023. Colts, they ended the year on a high note. They got a win over the Las Vegas Raiders, man. Absolutely awesome. If you wonder what this is, they gave us these at the Colts games. Or at the Colts game, I should say. Uh, these might be one of the coolest things they've given out at the Colts games, if I'm being completely honest. I've been going for 15 years, since 2005. Well, no, that's more than 15 years now. That's about 18 years. Wow. And nothing has ever compared to this. Also, something else that happened. Um, for the first time, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a very, I'm a passionate fan. Right? Very passionate. I love my Colts. They're awesome. Okay? You know, you know that. You all know that. If you've been watching my channel long enough, you know that I'm a passionate Colts fan. But for the first time ever, ever, I was asked to sit down at a game. Now, she didn't ask. This is this how she said it. I'm getting my footage of the game, which you can, you can check it out. In my, my my latest my last video of of the game. Now, it was pre-game and she's like she taps me on the shoulder, she's like, hey, you can get the same shots sitting down. I'm just like, I'm I'm gonna be standing throughout the game. Like not like during the plays, but I mean I'm gonna be standing. She's like, why? She kinda rolled her eyes and she was a cold fan. All the all the problems I have had over the last eighteen seasons have all been with Colts fans. Rarely, rarely do I have a problem with opposing teams' fans. Speaking of opposing teams' fans, what's up with the Raiders fans being all in my comments in my la my pre preview video? That was wild. I my videos don't do very well. Let's be honest. I know I have sixty seven subscribers. I actually, have sixty nine subscribers now. Thank you, nice. to everybody who subscribed to my channel, and thank you to everybody who watches my videos. I seriously appreciate it. I really do. But I don't I don't get many views. I get, you know, 30, 20, 12 views and stuff. But this one got well over 550 views. And I had like 10 comments all talking trash. They're all Raiders fans, all talking trash. I love it, man. I'm here for it. But some Raiders fans were in there talking about how their how Max Crosby's gonna get after Gardner Minshew, and he had he had no sacks, one QB hit. Gar, uh, Max Crosby did in the game. Now Gardner Minshew did get sacked a couple times. He didn't turn the ball over. The Colts didn't turn the ball over one time today, which was awesome. Big reason why they won the game. Final score was twenty three to twenty. That puts us at nine and seven, with one game left. In Indianapolis against the Houston Texans. They announced it a little bit right before the late game, the night game ended, that they're playing the Houston Texans at 8 15 on Saturday night. Let's go, man. Let's go. I can't wait. I cannot wait. I originally I was like, I don't know what time this game's gonna be at. I originally put in a half day request just in case they played on Sunday at 4.15. I didn't want to miss, I, I wanted to be at this game because I got tickets for it. I got tickets and I'm, I'm super excited. A win in your end scenario because the Cincinnati Bengals, they lost to the Kansas City Chiefs. I was rooting hardcore for the Kansas City Chiefs and the Cincinnati Bengals, they lost. So they're eliminated. We don't have to worry about them anymore. We just got to worry about winning. The Raiders, man, they come in. I felt like they were a good team that was playing really good football right now. I wasn't too confident in Aiden O'Connell. Aiden O'Connell looked pretty solid against us. Uh, there was a lot of open receivers. I don't like that. I don't like how wide open some receivers are. Um, you gotta, you got to be able to stop that with C.J. Stroud. I mean, you can't do that with C.J. Stroud. Um, but, man, the Raiders fans, they weren't very chirpy throughout the game. They weren't. That usually they're coming in Raiders. But I did see one fan who was who was kind of getting some loud, but overall, I mean, it wasn't like the Raiders fans felt like they were they had any kind of control in it. But um, I'm happy about it. You know, 
I'm extremely happy about it. I I was so happy about it that I had to make a video at 12:39 after the ball the ball's been dropped. Ball had done been dropped. 39 minutes. Okay, it's already the new year. Who cares? We're in 2024. Whatever. Let's move on. I'm gonna continue to write my dates wrong for the next three months. Awesome. No, I'm kidding. That we carried a win into the new year it was absolutely awesome, dude. I'm so stoked. So stoked, man. I'm gonna go over a little bit more, a little bit of stats. Just a couple of things to go over. 23 to 20. Like I said, Jonathan Taylor was solid. I like the ground game. Jonathan Taylor, 21 carries, 96 yards, one touchdown, 4.6 yards per carry. Solid right there. Absolutely solid. Devontae Adams today, though. 21 targets, 30, 13 catches for 126 yards and a touchdown. Alec Pierce led, led the Colts in receiving. i got to see all receivers. Alec Pierce led the receivers 58 yards on one catch. That was that touchdown catch. That was the play of the game. That was the play of the game. Oh, man. I'm so happy that we won this game. Wow. I didn't realize this. The Raiders had 26 first downs. That's not good. I don't like seeing that. The Colts only had 16 first downs. Uh, the Raiders were 5 for 5, 5 for 15 on third down. The Colts were 6 for 13. So, some things you've got to clean up. You definitely got to clean that up before you play the Houston Texans. The Houston Texans, they're down a couple players, like I said. The Colts had two sacks. The Raiders had one. That's awesome. No turnovers, I think, by either team. Oh, wait. The Colts did have a fumble. The fumble lost? No, 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 no. They did have a fumble. Jonathan Taylor fumbled the ball. Michael Pittman recovered. Okay. I was like, okay, I don't remember them having a fumble. The Raiders dominated the time of possession. 33 minutes and 44 seconds to 26-16. But that was it? That was it? Oh, one thing I do want to go over. There was a pick that happened. I went down I went down to like the lower level and sat with my cousin. Shout out to my cousin Max and my Uncle Adam. My Uncle Adam's like, oh, we'll, we'll switch seats you know, during halftime. He ended up just running into an old buddy and talking to him for, for the entirety of the third quarter while I sat sat there with my cousin. We had a good time, though. You know, chopped it up a little bit. I went to the restroom, came back out, and the pick had happened. And if you watch the game, you know what I'm talking about. I can't remember the player. But they called pass interference, and it was awful. He didn't, he didn't touch him. He didn't even touch him. Should have been a pick six. I didn't see the play. He may have been down at the five. May have been a touchdown. But... Then they, they went down the field. I think they got, I think, did they score off that? Yeah, I think they scored a touchdown on that one. Touchdown or a field goal. But either way, then you had the um, the roughing the punter. That was rough. They, they went and scored a touchdown off of that one too. So some mistakes, like, like I keep saying these special team mistakes these last few weeks have seemed to kind of been glaring mistakes, like mistakes that are leading to points. You got to clean those up. You absolutely got to clean those up. But, man, all, all in all, I mean, a good game. The, the Raiders were in it late. You know, they got that late touchdown uh, to make it a three-point game. Uh, they didn't recover the offense. Shoot. They didn't recover the onside kick. So, it was close, though. It was close. If you see my reaction in that video, I was not. I was like, oh, did he did he get it? Like, I wanted to know, man. But, like, I also, another thing, shout-out to my cousin, man. This was his first Colts game. In Indianapolis, and went to that Colts Bengals game. Saw the Colts get their ass kicked. So did I. But we both have that in common. So, but yeah, I'm I'm really happy that the Colts got a win. But next week matters. That's it. Matt matters. That's it is a playoff game. It is more or less a playoff game. And the NFL, the, the NFL gods or the, the the scheduling gods, just you know they they're like, hmm, what are the best matchups? They wanted to put the Colts in prime time, and I know they wanted to put the Colts in prime time. Because the Colts Texans winner gets in, how could you not have them in prime time? So they made that a Saturday night game. Absolutely awesome! I get to watch it. I'm so excited. <sighs> That's all I got. That's all I got. We've got one more game. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. This we have exceeded expectations. We're nine and seven. Nobody thought that we'd win more than three football games at the beginning of the season with Anthony Richardson. Anthony Richardson goes out. Jonathan Taylor's contract dispute. Jonathan Taylor injury. You know, we're able to overcome all of that. 
there's been suspensions. The gambling in the beginning of the season. Uh, you had Grover Stewart. He missed six weeks. I mean, you've had a lot of stuff that's happened this season. As every team deals with ups and downs throughout the season. The Colts have had a lot this season. But to have an opportunity like this. Sitting at 9-7. and seven, To have an opportunity to be in a situation where you're in. When and you're in. Where were we at last season? We were 4-11-1 going into the game against the Houston Texans. And we lost on a 4th and 20 Hail Mary for a touchdown. Which was Lovey Smith's last game. And now here we are. The Texans and the Colts. Both who are the worst, two of the worst teams in the league. Are now fighting potentially for the AFC South. That's one thing I forgot to mention. The Jaguars, they did win against the Carolina Panthers. They've got the Tennessee Titans next week. They've got the Titans next week. That's on Sunday. So we won't know the division winner until that Jags game. So I'm going to be rooting hardcore for the Titans unless, of course, we don't beat the Texans. But let's not, let's not think about that. That's scary stuff. Let's not think about that. But seriously, we've got this is an awesome, awesome situation to be in. You lose your starting quarterback. And Gardner Minshew, is, he's a good quarterback. He's a solid quarterback. But he, I, didn't think that he could def, I didn't think he could lead us to nine wins. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I did not think that Gardner Minshew, you know, had enough in him to lead us to nine wins, but he has he has played pretty well this season. He's, he's had some bad games where he's turned the ball over a couple of times, but he's had some really solid games. And this was one of them against the, the Raiders. He was hitting receivers. He was making good reads. And, man, I can't say enough, man. Minshew mania. Let's go. Shout out to my buddy Chris. Shout out to my buddy Chris, man. He's been big on Minshew. He don't like the Colts. He's a Patriots fan, but he loves Minshew so much, man. So shout out to my buddy Chris, man. <sighs> We've got one more. I know this has been a long video. I appreciate you watching. Appreciate you watching. But we got one more, and I, I'm already nervous. I'm going to get no sleep this week, and if the Colts win, if the Colts win and make the playoffs, I think I'll be satisfied as a fan. I know the team won't. I know there will be a lot of people saying, we, we, I want to win a playoff game, but... I just, making the playoffs would be special. That'd be so special. You know, we'll talk about if we win the division. We'll talk about that later in, like, a breakdown video. But that's it, man. The Raiders came to town, and they didn't get it done. Shout out to all the people who were talking shit in my mentions and my comments and my last YouTube video. I appreciate y'all for giving me those views. You Raider fans were really active. More than anybody the entire season. Thank you. Seriously, thank you. That's all I got, man. I am the big dog named Austin. I hope you guys have an incredible New Year's. Happy New Year's. Welcome to 2024. Go Colts!